best leader in the game is here. Finally, Goldie Roger has a leader in the One Piece card game. Well, not really, actually, it's a leader I made. I made this leader. It's insane, and it's really, 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 really fun to play. Most of us can't even get into tournaments anyway, so at this point, I just like playing at home, and this is definitely the most fun deck to play. So let's get into the leader. I'm gonna show a little bit about it. This was a collaboration design. The leader skills and stuff, I came up with, HZ, me and HZ19 came up with it, and then Kevin Muniz, K29, drew this art that is absolutely insane. But basically, the leader has one life, and he's 9K base, because he's the strongest person in the, ever, basically, right? And uh, there's a skill in the deck that says, if, you're, if your deck has 50 unique cards, add an additional Dawn to your Dawn deck. So you'll have 11 Dawn that you're playing with, and he's all colors, so you can play every color card. Um, when he has two Dawn equipped, Dawn X2, he has double attack, so he deals two life damage. And when he has five Dawn equipped, Dawn X5, he has triple attack, so he deals five life damage. And if you get all 11 Dawn, which actually this is Davidson TCG and uh, came up with this, which inspired this skill. But he was we, this was before we had the if you have 50 unique cards thing. That was uh, HZ's idea, but... David was saying, uh, if you had 11 Dawn, like you steal a Dawn from your opponent, and then you have 11 Dawn, um, then you become King of the Pirates. It used to be Dawn X10 on the old Roger card I made, but on the new Roger card, you actually have 11 Dawn in your Dawn deck if you have 50 unique cards. Um, and then you become King of the Pirates, and if you successfully attack with the leader, you win the game and you get to take your opponent's deck. So it's been really fun to play at home. I'm gonna go through a deck profile that I made. These are all proxies of cards in the game that I made. So I'm gonna start out just with, um, you know, counter. You wanna run some 2Ks, your 9K base. So 2K is really good. And blockers are a problem for this deck. So you have to have a way to rest blockers. So I play Ezo as the 2K to rest the blocker. Sanji is just another 2K. It's also searchable. I play one Nami, that's the only searcher. We'll get there. Um, Brook's kind of nice in the deck because you can play him for two and you get the Dawn equipped, which gives you the double attack. So you board a character and he's also a 2K, so value. Of course, Otama, best 2K in the game. Uh, Frankie is just a free body to play if he happens to be your one life. <laughs> <laughs> and and you get to draw a card. You want to draw cards in this game, uh, in this deck, because you only have one life, so you're seeing a lot less cards every game. Hiori, um, if you see her early, you could set up a trigger of some sort if you have it in your hand. And then Beige, of course, if it's your one life, he just wins you the game. Otherwise, he's a 2K counter. And then we play four of the zero cost events of different colors because there's a lot of dead cards in the deck and going to 13K is a lot more likely to counter out. There's two of the one cost counters that give you plus 4K. Um, your opponent's usually at two life pretty quickly, so this gets active pretty quick. And then Amaru to rest the blocker, if you need to rest the blocker, because as I said, blockers are a problem. I'm playing the one Nami. There's 13 straw hats, I think, in this deck, so it's a reasonable thing to search with. You could run into a straw hat. Shirohoshi, actually the first game that I played, the Shirohoshi was my life, and that was extremely valuable, so really glad I had that. Robin pops some small blockers, gets in there, very value. Adekai TCG and I were playing a game, and he was playing Bonnie, and he played the Rosinante blocker, and I just popped it with uh, Robin, felt really good. Brooke, if you need to trash a blocker, <laughs> you play Brooke. Um, Kin Killer gets Rush because he's always a 7k in this deck because if you, uh, oh no, no, if your opponent has two or less life, but they go to two pretty quickly. So he's usually alive. Um, to ramp, to get to that 11 a little faster, Bon Clay is good in the deck. And then if this happens to be your only life or if you play it and they're smart enough to kill it, then you get an extra life back. And having an extra life in this deck is massive. So every life really counts because you're at 9k base. Egghead Luffy to remove a blocker. Um, and I just love this card. This is probably my second favorite card in the game now. Uh, this Luffy, in case you need to <laughs> trash your life and make him AK. No, it's just, I like Luffy cards. I, I think this card's insane. I really, really, really like this card. So I'm just playing this because I like it. Uh, Zoro Drew, if you see it early and you ramp with it. Uh, Onami is nuts. If you're at like seven Dawn and you put two for Onami and give your leader banish, you can do a triple attack banish, but you gotta see it and there's only one, but it is a straw hat, so it's searchable by the other Nami. Oh no, actually I don't think you can take Nami's, but wait, I don't know if Onami is a Nami. That's a good question. Maybe you can take this, I don't know. Uh, Nekomamushi, if it happens to be your one life and sometimes swinging through a blocker is valuable. 
uh, you and then we get to the blocker package. So I'm just playing a lot of all the good blockers. This can reduce their hand size, which is helpful. Uh, queen gets your hand size up, which you need cards in your hand. Sabo filters your deck and also is a blocker that's very hard to get rid of. Um, this law, uh, just a blocker. You rarely like bouncing stuff for the effect because you have so few cards in hand. Shirai is good because you can match leader's power and just kind of keep a blocker active. And in the mirror match, he's nuts because he's 9k. Uh, beige, just a 1k blocker. And then the Luffy is good because there's a lot of straw hats in the deck. So you often can play something off of the Luffy. Even if you play like a Nami to search, it's, it's pretty good. Um, or you can play this Sanji, so play two blockers. Uh, then Hawkins is just the most insane blocker in the game. Borsalino, another great blocker. And then the kid blocker, I don't think you really need this actually. I might change it for another blocker because you're not really Dawn Minusing ever, maybe with the queen, but it's so niche and every card is a one of. Dofi blocker just to see what you're gonna draw into or put those at the bottom of your deck. Rush Zoro is just an amazing card. Rush Ace is really good because you know, Peepaw, it's Peepaw's deck. And then we get into our bombs. So I'm playing Dragon. Of course, Luffy and his dad are in the deck. So Monkey D Dragon and Monkey D Luffy. Some nice rushers. It's nice to swing through blockers sometimes to try and chip that one life off. So, you know, have that Luffy in there. And then the Dragon card. Um, Lin Lin does not give you a life back because it is not a big mom pirate deck. However, playing a Lin Lin in a Roger deck for 10 and establishing a 12K body and saying, mama, mama, is really fun. So I keep this in the deck mostly for fun. And you can discard off the zero cost event if you need to. Whitebeard's really good in the Roger deck because it makes him an 11K leader. <laughs> so if you slam this down and then you're 11K, it's a lot more that they have to swing through. Uh, Moria, just insane card. There's like not all that much you'd play off of it. Maybe a blocker and a searcher, but uh, good to establish a body. Yamato always gives you a life back because you're always at one or less. So getting life back in this deck is huge. So Yamato is really good. Zoro is just a flex if you can play it. It's really great. And then of course, Hody to rest any of their blockers. And then you put everything on your leader and swing for, what is it? Seven minus, if you're at 11 Dawn, you can swing for uh, th 13, 14. Yeah, f no, 13, 11, yeah, 13. And then the best card in the deck, Roger's son, Ace rush for 10k and gives you a life back he's really coming in for his dad anyway um you can build this deck however you want and you can play it at home it's really fun i'd recommend like if you and a friend want to play you both get a roger and play roger mirror matches it is absolutely insane the double attack and triple attack don't really mean much at that point but it's a it's a fun game of uh of wits and power so i'd recommend Having some fun with this, I made this leader. It's available on kaizokucards.com. You can check it out. I'll drop a link in the description below. I think a lot of things about this game are just to have fun, and this is a really great leader to have fun with. And um, yeah, I, I try to steal Fresky B's deck every night with this, if possible. But I believe she will start stealing my deck soon. Anyway, that's the Roger deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's it's really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I just wanted to share this fun thing that I'm doing. And uh, I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. If you're thinking about whitening your teeth, make sure you strengthen them first. So do some sort of fluoride treatment or use a toothpaste that has an active fluoride in it to get your teeth really strong so that when you whiten them, they don't get too sensitive. Thanks for coming by. And I hope you have fun swinging 14K triple attack.